Hi, my name's Louise and this is a short demonstration of the DigiLounge and the functionality. So what you're currently looking at is the table mode. Uh, there's numbered tables on this particular floor plan, but there's also lots of different floor plans to choose from. The tables are uh, numbered in this version, but you can also rename the tables to help identify and organize the space. You can zoom in and out using your scroll and you can also um, uh, click and drag the map using your trackpad. We are sat on one table and I'm currently sat on the center table and you can use the where am I function to see where you're located. And I can also see then there's another table over on table one. So if I double clicked across to join that table, I would then be added in conversation with that group of people. So here they are uh, chatting away there. Um, I'll give them a wave to show them that I can see them there. So um, they're all in conversation and now that table is full. So it allows people to be connected in a conversation, but you've also got visibility of the rest of the room. So you can double click to change the tables and move around the space. And the other thing to mention is the event capacity can go up to 800 people. So we've got different floors here. Um, you're added to the to the room at random on a random table, but then the individual is able to move around the space. To the top left of the room, we've got a video option there. So you can embed a video, um, maybe that's a stinger or a, a welcome message, uh, whatever you would like, you can embed that in there and you're able to play that video as a delegate. And we also can have some welcome text, which can have 22 character title and 400 characters um, content underneath. You can also customize the space as mentioned with different colors of the chairs, choosing out of blue, purple, red, or multicolor. And uh, there is also different spots branding options available that the team will share with you. You can then see on the bottom of the screen you've got some options so your cam and mic options with uh, the virtual background as an option to add um, next to your camera and then you've also got chat options as well so there's general chat with the whole event, table chat with just your table and then private chat as well to scroll through and chat to people directly. So um, hi event, pop in a message there and uh, you can see what people are saying. Uh, it's a great way for you as the organizer to be able to reach the whole audience. We as the technicians can also send out announcement messages, uh, alerting everyone to that fact, hello everyone, for example. We would announce that pre-agreed messages from yourself and that would ding out and so they can see what's being said. And the other thing we can do to signpost what's coming up is using a countdown timer. So we can set one round of 10 minutes and show a timer there going across the top of the screen. And that just alerts to everyone the fact we've got 10 minutes left in the table mode before entering into the stage mode. Uh, the stage mode uh, is the other mode of the platform and it's either the stage mode or the table mode at any point in time. So we can start the stage mode when we're ready to go and uh, use a 30 second countdown. This lets you um, uh, let people wrap up their conversations on their tables because once the stage mode has started, the cameras and mics are all switched off except for those joining the stage. Uh, I'll stop that countdown now and start the stage straight away. So we can, we can record uh, this conversation and record these stage broadcasts. So this is the stage and broadcast mode. All the, all the individuals that are on the, on the tables, uh, on table one, their, their camera and mics have now been switched off uh, and everyone's tuning into this one view. So you can see on the right-hand side, we've got chat, participants and Q&A. So chat, as mentioned, is everyone in the whole room, that general chat tab there. Uh, the second tab there is participants. So here I can see... Um, who's in the room live and you can also message people and view their profiles from there and then thirdly is Q&A so people can send in their questions if a question has been asked um, we can sweep questions away so what we send you post event is all your stage recordings the whole delegate list name email when they logged in and out every question that was sent in uh, the whole record of that and also all the general chat so you've got those records to make follow-ups etc from the stage, you can share presentation. Uh, it's easy for the uh, speaker to share their screen like so. So I can select which tab to do and show some slides. And that's what that looks like there if we just let that load. So um, the speaker goes small and the slides go big and then I'm able to click through those and share a presentation. And the other thing which works really well is uh, sharing video from the stage. So we can play a video uh, and the technicians, the DigiLounge team manage all of that for you.